In this video, I'll be showing you how to make your own handheld wind turbine that actually works. Hello everybody, I uh, just wanted to make this video to show you guys how to make a little handheld wind turbine. Uh, which could be used to show some of the basics on how turbines work or a good project for a uh, kid or whatnot. Uh, you'll need a few things. You'll need a, a motor. And if you wonder if it's a special motor, it's not. Every motor is a generator. Every generator is a motor. Uh, if you hook up electricity to it, it's obviously a motor and that'll spin. But if you have an outside force turning this, uh, it is reversed and it actually will make electricity. So, uh, this one I got for about $5 at Radio Shack uh, quite a few years ago. But you don't have to use this size, you can use a littler size if you're on a budget. I ripped this out of an electric toothbrush, which cost about a uh, dollar with a little bit of tax on it. Uh, but if you use this, you actually have to remove the, the end there. And you can use a bigger one if you like. This one probably wouldn't be a good one, but I just want to show you a bigger motor. This actually came off of a, a, a child, like Hot Wheel kind of toy, the ones they ride around the yard with. And you need some wire. Uh, I like speaker wire. It doesn't have to be speaker wire. Use whatever you like. Uh, but I like it because it's cheap and it's color coded so that we can keep track of what's positive what's negative. Uh, some in the cut, you can use scissors, wire cutters, whatever you like. And you need a light bulb. I like to use these lamp holders. These were off from Radio Shack and I've had for many years. Uh, this also has a positive and negative on it, just like the motor will have. And you just screw in which light bulb you would like. And that's pretty much it for those. Or if you're on a budget, you can use an LED, and these are also very good for uh, uh, lower voltage application. I think this one's probably a 0.5, so it'll light up pretty easy. Uh, the only problem is if this burns out, you have to unhook it, try to hook up another one, solder it, however you want to get it on there. But with these, if you burn it out, you just unscrew the bulb like you would in your house and put in a new bulb. Alright, next you need some sort of a wood glue, uh, whatever you can find. Or you don't even need wood glue, you can use uh, a glue gun, whatever you like. And I think lastly you'll need some form of wood. You can use tongue depressors, which are for smaller. And Basically, you glue them together. I like to glue them in threes. That way you get a decent thickness. And with that, you would end up with a blade about this size, give or take. And you can use... Uh, one of my favorite would be the, the paint stir. It's my favorite because it's free, and you can't be free. And it's also a, a pretty good size. I think once you cut the end off, if you want to cut the end off, unless you want to make a real thin one. Uh, at the tab there, it's about 9 inches, so it's a pretty decent sized blade. And I just glued them together like that. And after you sand it, you end up with the blade roughly looking like that. Okay, well let's show you how to put one together. So take your motor, and you have two ends, one's a positive, one's a negative. But in this application, it's not going to matter how you hook it up, as long as the leads aren't touching each other, the wires aren't touching each other. It's going to work regardless, which is a good. So we'll take speaker wire. I already cut the one end to save a little time. And we're just going to cut the other end. And if you do use scissors, um, be careful because it's real easy when you go to strip the ends. So you just cut right through or cut right of like one or two strands and you really don't want that. The more strands you have the better. So that comes off. And there we go. Both of those are off. And I'm just going to twist them together here. 
can twist the other one. Like I said, I already got the other end to save a little bit of time. So we just thread it through like that. And you can just twist it right on there if you like. And just make sure it's a good connection. Otherwise, the light bulb will probably flicker because it's a loose connection or the light bulb won't work at all. But at least you know it's probably just a loose connection. All right, well, let's get that a little better. Okay, that's good there. And take the other end, and there's also two ends. Like I said, it doesn't matter how you get them in there. As long as they're in there, there's one. And get that in there tight. And you can probably hear the nice thunderstorm going on right now. Okay, so that's good. And this light bulb I'm going to use, it's the one I also use in the video. It's about a 2.47, 2.5 volt. Works really well. On this motor, it'll start turning about 15 miles an hour, uh, you know, with your arm hanging out of the passenger side. Don't do this while you're driving. And it'll actually light up very bright, about 35. So right around 30, it'll start to kind of burn a little bit and then it gets bright. Okay, well, like I said, uh, take your paint stirs, glue them together with whatever kind of glue you like, and you get this. And since we're going to use this, uh, I would cut it off right there, which makes it 9 inches. You find the center, which is 4.5 inches. And I don't remember, but I think it's an inch deep, so you'd find about half inch in between. Drill your hole. Uh, drill a bit, however you like, but very small. And once that's done, take your sandpaper and just sand on that side, sand on that side, and vice versa, sand on there, sand on there. So your end product will basically look like this. And this came out kind of small. I don't remember why. I made this one quite a few years ago, but it works very well even though it's so small. And that is centered. So I just stick that on the shaft there. And a tip, you might want to glue the end. Uh, put a little bit of glue on there. I've actually lost a couple. They just blew off going down the freeway. I actually tried to find them. Never did find them. Because I actually spent quite a bit of time on it. So, alright, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoy watching the video. Thank you very much. Take care. God bless.